So basically, the salesman opened the hood, the client backed up a little bit, and went straight with the hood open towards the Curie Label Boulevard. As Prime Minister Justin Trudeau considers tougher criminal penalties for those who steal vehicles at a national summit on Thursday, a Laval car dealership north of Montreal is dealing with its own car theft problem. Monday evening, just before Auto Coretta was about to close, a salesperson was showing a potential client a 2016 Mercedes sports car when he drove off with it. The salesperson uh, refused to uh, do a test drive but accept to show him the vehicle. Uh, the minute the vehicle uh, gets uh, running, he sits in it, he took off with the, he takes off with the vehicle, uh, hits my salesman. Minutes later, uh, we find out that the BMW that he drives into, it's a, it's a, a bait car, a stolen vehicle that he abandoned. And it's running up. Mark Fournier, the owner of Auto Coretta, says that his salesperson has been in pain the past few days and has large bruises on his body. Laval police say there are two suspects, a man and a woman. No arrests have been made, but the investigation is ongoing. They also revealed that 1,351 vehicles were stolen in Laval in 2023, with 77 arrests related to these crimes. It's getting uh, more and more now car theft. It's getting, uh, they're, they're getting aggressive. The, my salesman is, is hurt, is actually in a, in a shock. And uh, something has to happen uh, about those car thief. Uh, most probably Port of Montreal, it's going to be one of the solutions uh, to be more strict on car thief also. Uh, if when something happens, those guys have to get punished. The Trudeau government says about 90,000 cars are stolen annually across the country, costing taxpayers and insurance policyholders about $1 billion yearly. While the federal government is looking for answers to deal with a nationwide problem, Auto Coretta will be making some changes to deal with the rise in car thefts. We live and learn and uh, every vehicle right now is going to have a GPS uh, and we're going to have uh, closing hour are, are going to be a bit shorter. Unfortunately, we have to pay for this because the government didn't do anything about that, right? In Laval, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.